do, animals, know, when, a, earthquake, will, hit, let's, find out. To a supernatural sixth sense. Not according to physicist Motoji Ikea. When you live in Earthquake Central, Japan, it makes sense to listen to Mother Nature. Ikea's fixation began in 1995 with another calamity, the terrible Kobe earthquake. Thousands died, and the city suffered billions of dollars in damages. But it was what happened before the earthquake that caused Ikea to pay attention to the animals. Before the Kobe earthquake, I walked into my little garden and saw a lot of wormholes in the ground. I thought, this is strange, but I didn't think too much more about it then. Later I learned that there is a legend that says, when worms come out of the ground in winter, an earthquake will come. I definitely witnessed this legend before the earthquake. Ikea asked the question so many others had asked before him. If the animals really know when catastrophe is about to strike, how are they doing it? Ideas abound. Maybe they smell gases that are released when rocks shift beneath the Earth's crust before seismic activity. Maybe they can detect sound vibrations too low for humans to hear, called infrasound, as the Earth moves or a tidal wave surges toward land. But perhaps the most promising theory is this. They may feel changes in the Earth's electromagnetic, or EM, fields. Electromagnetism is everywhere, but it's invisible. Environmental upheaval, like earthquakes and tsunamis, are thought to cause disruptions in the EM fields. Dr. Ikea thinks these disturbances are what the animals can sense. So he is meeting up with the suspected oracles themselves. And he's bringing a sidekick. It's a little machine called a Van de Graaff generator. First used in the 1930s for producing high voltages in nuclear research. Today, this technology is used in a variety of scientific and medical fields. Two pulleys inside the larger metal orb power a rubber belt, which creates static electricity. When the spheres are brought together, an electromagnetic charge is released. Since the Kobe earthquake, Ikea has tested over 30 species of animals, some scaled, some furry, but they all have been reported as reacting unusually before disaster. In test after test, his subjects became nervous or agitated or fled completely. To him, it was proof that animals can sense electromagnetism. As I saw these unusual animal behaviors occurring, I had to believe the reports were real. It's like I entered the magical world of Alice in Wonderland. Now it's time for Alice to go down the rabbit hole with some large companions. Here at Ichihara Elephant Zoo, trainer Rukai Kinitaicha was not surprised by reports that elephants in South Asia seem to anticipate the tsunami. He's watched his own charges act strangely before earthquakes. Normally, this well-trained elephant stands still so that our customers can get on and off of him. But that day, he refused to stand next to the step and cry. About five minutes later, all the other elephants squatted and turned their body around 180 degrees. I really thought it was very strange. Then I felt the earthquake. Were they reacting to electromagnetic changes? Ikea and his trusty Van de Graaff generator are on the case. Ikea will station himself at three different spots. The closer he gets, 
the higher the electromagnetism. Station number one. He gets a few looks from some of the neighbors. All movement is calm. The sheep over there are staring this way. It looks like that goat over there is looking over here also. But the elephants don't seem to care. Station two. They stop and take notice. But soon go back to their usual routine. When Ikea gets to the closest point, the elephants begin acting strangely, according to trainer Konitachi. <laughs> When the machine started, they looked at it carefully and moved their ears forward like this. Then there was the biting behavior. Biting is unusual. I am sure that's the cause of it. But here's the rub. Without the elephants opening up their mouths and telling us, hey, knock it off with the electromagnetism, we can't be sure of it. They could also have been reacting to the sound of the bandigraph generator. And we have yet to determine how the animals could sense changes in electromagnetic fields. Geologist Jim Birkeland thinks he knows how. A major phenomenon is the change in the electromagnetic fields that precedes quakes. When the magnetic field changes, animals can detect it, and they get nervous and disoriented. There's just one problem. The electromagnetic field is all around us, but it's in constant flux. So how are animals able to sort out changes that precede disaster and those that are more routine? Dr. Michael Blampede is a geologist with the U.S. Geological Survey. He deals with earthquake prediction every day and thinks the electromagnetic theory is full of holes. There's all sorts of electric currents that are moving around in the Earth's crust. Every time there's a solar flare, big fluxes of particles come in and screw up the field. Every time there's lightning in India, it's detected in California. The trick is, one, which is the signal, and two, how do we pull it out of all that noise? It's possible that some animals are picking up these signals, but at this point, we don't know. Still, it's hard to deny that something remarkable happened on December 24, 2004, as the tsunami hit the coast of South Asia. And as the world clamored for a sophisticated tsunami warning system for the Indian Ocean, it became clear that some animals have built-in warning systems that outstrip our modern technology. A poignant reminder that we humans still have much to learn from the natural world. But not necessarily from the realm of the supernatural. It starts getting nervous. It could be for a reason. And fine, they're picking up things that we can't. But that's not the same as there's any something supernatural there. Totally to ignore the animals seems to me dogmatic, not scientific. And I'm more interested in dogs than dogmas. If we think that we're the only species with emotions and feelings and thoughts that can communicate, then wow, we're living a really limited life and it's and it's pretty one-sided and sad. I'm not convinced that any animal, including humans, have psychic powers. That's a happy idea, but a little common sense says that's all it is.